dude, I am really excited about this. A little Stevie Wonder superstition. I love this song. Have always loved this song. It is just funky. Man, this is like a crazy funky song. Love it. And what I'm doing here is kind of like the uh, keyboard part in the first, right? That uh, sort of clavinet sound that you hear. This isn't really what the bass is doing, but I wanted to um, transcribe that because I just think it sounds so cool. And I love it on bass. And when you're going to play along with it to the song, oh man, it just sounds so cool. You're going to love it. This is going to be really fun for you to play. But uh, what I did there was, uh, I think he's, they play it in the studio version in E flat, right? But I'm just going to play it in E uh, just because I didn't tune my uh, guitar down, my bass guitar. So if you want to, you could always tune down a half step and play it just like how I'm playing it with your guitar tuned down. And then you're going to be in tune with the studio recording. If not, you can just play it in E. Uh, sometimes when people play it live, they play it in E anyway. So anyway, I am Finbar of Finbar Bass. All right, so if you haven't clicked on the link right down there in the YouTube text box, one of those links is gonna bring you to uh, some lessons that aren't on uh, YouTube at all. You can only get it by clicking that link right down there. There's a beginner lesson, a um, intermediate lesson, advanced lesson, so somebody for everybody. So if you haven't clicked on that, click on that. Also down there, there is a link um, that'll send you over to my Epic Beginner Bass. Uh, DVD set that I'm really excited about. Um, that's all complete. It's up there. It's good. So if you, you know, this is you're very much a beginner on the bass, um, you're gonna love it. If you've been playing for a while, um, there's some great stuff in there for you too. So definitely check those out. All right. So right in the beginning of this song, you're gonna hear, and what that is is you're gonna be on the fifth fret of the E string, second fret of the A. And you do kind of the same thing, just move your hand down. You're gonna be on the fifth fret of the A and second fret of the D. That's just a little intro, just plopping you into the rhythm right before there. And then hit that open E, just like that. Now you're gonna be into the actual, you know, keyboard rhythm that you hear in the beginning there. So you're gonna go. So what that is, you're going to be on the second fret of the D string, right here. Fifth fret of the A, and then second fret of the D. And then fifth fret of the uh, D string, so you got... Right, and then you're on the fifth fret of the A, and then second fret of the D again. And then, just like that. That's second fret of the A, fifth fret of the A and then second fret of the D right there. So if I play that all really slow together, this that's just kind of what I will we'll call the first phrase. Right, you got it? Just like that. Right, and then the next part, It's really going up pentatonically right there. So you got fifth fret of the E string, then you go two, five on the A, two, five on the, um, on the D. And then you got fifth fret of the A and second fret of the um, D right there, right? So, so far that's and then you're just going to do this kind of to end it off this little so you're on the second fret which is an E note or if you're tuned down that would be E flat but for me it's an E and you're going to hit this fifth fret of the A and then back to the second fret of the uh, D, right, and then you hit that opening octaves, right, and then you go back to the beginning, right where you were. Okay, this part here. Um, might just be the most fun that you're ever going to have playing bass. <laughs> I 
I guarantee it's the most fun you're going to have playing bass today. It's just such a cool line right there. Anyway, what you're going to be doing is you're on the seventh fret, right, of the A string. Go seven, five, seven, right? And now here, what I do, uh, you're going uh, on the E string now, five, six, seven, right? I just do a hammer on because I think it just sounds awesome. And, you know, with the horns and everything like that, it just flows so well. But you can play them. You can pluck each one. But you'll see when you get this down and you start really rocking with it, it even feels good to hit it like that. So uh, the hammer on, you'd be plucking the fifth fret and then just coming down percussively with your middle finger and then your third finger, uh, just like that on five, six, and seven. You could do this with your pinky too, of course. Just like that. If your pinky is uh, strong enough. If not, just, or if you're more comfortable like that. So yeah. Uh, What that is, you hit five on the A, then seven on the E. Five on the A, and then seven on the A. So if I do that all slow. And then repeat this part. Right? Right? That is such a cool uh, question and answer type situation. So then you're gonna hit the seventh fret again of the A. Then you get the fourth fret of the fourth fret of the uh, G string, fifth fret of the D, and then seventh fret of the um, A again. And I alternate that with because it just sounds cool because you're you know the bass and it's super bassy. So what that is, that's just the lower octave. So you're hitting the seventh fret of the E down to the third fret. And then the opening. So I played that all together slow. You can roll on that a little bit. All right, hope you enjoyed that little funky Stevie Wonder up in the house. Anyway, don't forget, click down there if you want to check out my um, right over uh, to Amazon, my Epic Beginner Bass DVD set. You can get that. Um, it's really awesome if you are a beginner, uh, never picked up the bass before, if you've been playing for a while too. So go over there, check out the old reviews on Amazon. Other than that, you could always click down there, get some free video lessons that aren't on YouTube. Those are pretty cool. Subscribe, Bimbar Bass, it's usually right up there. And then you'll know when all these are coming out. There's almost 300 videos on my uh, channel right now and growing, so, Check it out and have fun with that, yo. Always have fun with that.